Help me, I think I may have general discharge. Tree? It sure is, Good Blake. You got what I asked you for? Hell yeah. You ready to do this? You're fucking right, you wanker. Welcome back to General Discharge. As you can see, I'm still concealing my identity as I teach you these tricks of the trade, but I will from here to be known as Nick Nausea. So we're going to be teaching you some knots that are useful. They're based on the, the, re, the teachings of the recon community in their basic courses. But these knots are useful if you're in the military and you might be working with small boats or demolition or you might just be into camping outdoors or rock climbing, things of that nature. First knot we're going to do is a square knot. Second is the sheep end and we're also going to teach you the water tape. First thing we're going to do is grab the two pieces of rope, pull it down on my elbow. So now I know I have equal length on both sides. Left over right or right over left, doesn't matter. That's how you tie square knot. So I went left over right pulled it underneath now I'm gonna take that one that's in my right hand and go right over left and through the middle so now I pull that tight and I have my square knot so now what you're gonna do is tie a safety knot on each end okay so you're gonna follow the locking bar with that safety knot so you're gonna go following that locking bar and you're just doing an overhand knot tight and snug against the end of your square knot. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, the locking bar goes the other direction. So you're going to follow that locking bar and do an overhand knot so that you have a safety knot on both ends of the square knot. So if you're doing the basic reconnaissance primer course or the basic recon course, you'll have a rule for your pigtail lengths. The the standard rule is that it needs to be four inches or more. For test out purposes, it must extend beyond your palm, but not extend beyond your thumb when you hold the rope like this. So that'd be a passing pigtail because it goes past my palm, but not past my thumb. That's your square knot. So now we're gonna show you the water tape knot. The water tape knot is gonna be used to attach two lines that are of unequal length so you just make your loop pull it through the middle now the, you're going to trace the line of the loop that you just made so your line that came through the middle there you're just going to follow that around so you're sliding this other rope through and just tracing it around keeping it parallel with that line it's going to come underneath and you're pushing it in through the middle keeping it parallel with the line going over the top of the loop. So you're gonna pull that tight, and that's your water tape knot. So a couple things I'm gonna talk about here. One, how to make sure that your knot looks correct and that it's tied correctly. So these are gonna be parallel when you look at them. On the other side, the other side of the knot, those lines are also gonna be parallel. Now, for example, if I had gone over the top of this line and tightened down the knot, you would see that they cross. It's kind of have an X on the other side of that knot. So that's why you're going underneath, keeping those lines par parallel so you don't have a cross. So your pigtail rule is still going to apply on this knot. However, you don't need safeties on this knot in particular. So there you can see a nice water tape knot this pigtail would not be passing. As you can see, it goes past my hand, but it also extends beyond my thumb. That would be a failing pigtail for your test out. All right, so here we're gonna teach you the double sheet bend. So I take my rope, I'm folding it in half, so you have a bite on one end, and then you have your two 
working ends are your two uh, bitter ends on the other side. So your bitter ends are gonna go up through the bite that you made. A bite is just that loop that you made by folding the knot, the line in half. So you're going up through there, okay? And you're gonna pull that slack all the way through over your hand or your fingers. It's gonna come underneath. Now you have this kind of loop that you've made in between that bite and the lines that you pulled through. So you're going straight through there. And by doing a double sheet bend, you're simply gonna do that maneuver over again. So it's gonna go underneath again, and then back through the middle again, just like so. Once again, you know it's tied correctly. If all your lines are parallel, you should have four lines right there. And you should have two lines coming out the end. Do a little tweaking and peaking. Get your pigtails to the appropriate length. Making sure there's no crosses, all the lines are parallel. Oh, one of my pigtails is not long enough. That is your double sheet bend. All right, y'all, a couple additional notes. If you happen to be learning these knots or practicing these knots because you're entering the pipeline for reconnaissance, uh, the command that you're gonna be hearing as you prepare to tie your knot is gonna be rope ready. You get to the rope ready position by taking your bitter ends at the top of your hand, following it down your elbow, and then pulling the knot. Now you have equal length of rope in each hand. So that's how you get to the position of rope ready to be tested out on your knot. Also, another note on muscle memory. That's really what's gonna create the success for your knots. Tie it the same way every time and know exactly how you're doing it. Do it the same way every time so you have the right amount of length. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even wanna be here.